Okay, next up, um, I probably don't have to do it in this order, but I'm very curious to see inside the motor, particularly that number seven cylinder, uh, to see what I'm up against. So I think I'm going to go, go going to go ahead and pull the cylinder heads while the block's still in the car. Uh, to help keep things organized, uh, I bought this tray. It's from Crane Cams. Um, it's labeled uh, front and back, uh, so to help you keep up uh, with what cylinder, uh, your rocker arms, uh, your push rods, and your lifters um, come out of. If you find a bent rocker or uh, push rod or something of that nature. My process here, I'm going to take the, uh, the valve covers off. Obviously, they've got the, uh, the four uh, center bolts. The valve cover will come off. Um, then I'll start pulling the, uh, the rocker arms off. I can pull the push rods out. Uh, and then I'll start taking the, the head bolts off. Uh, and once I get that out, then I can get the uh, to the lifters as well. So uh, we'll get started and uh, see how it goes. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get the cylinder head off. I can use a magnet to retrieve these bolts. So one thing uh, to notice here, the two outside bolts were shorter. The three center bolts are much longer. Um, so make sure you keep up with, with those. All right, well, uh, pretty defeated on that. Could not get either one of the engine block drains to come loose. Um, so in an effort not to make things worse, um, we'll just deal with it. There's probably some coolant still left in the heads. That will get into the cylinders. Try to clean that up as best we can. Alright, we're going to start working on the uh, passenger side cylinder heads. We're going to take the valve cover off, take the valve train out, uh, and then take the cylinder heads off. Alright, valve cover is off. Uh, rocker arms and push rods are off, so I'll start taking out the head bolts. Go. 